Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, you may have heard how Blogilates has come after like people like Freely and Vegan Gains claiming copyrights to their videos, their own videos that they made about her and stealing their monetization. In some cases, like Richard, just getting her um, his video removed completely blocked off of YouTube. Well, we, we're fighting a similar battle, not against Blogilates, fortunately. I don't know why our video slipped past her, but our video that we made about bananas being the most dangerous fruit in the world. Well, the British Broadcasting Company, the mega corporate giant, has come after us claiming that we stole their copyrighted content. In fact, this is not too different from what Richard experienced with Cassie. Which is why I was especially upset when Blog Lotties blocked my video of her by filing a fallacious DMCA claim. Well, similar to Richard, in our case, the BBC has come after us with a false DCMA copyright claim. And this really bugs me because, you know, the BBC, you know, is a well-known, more or less respected media corporation. They're not some shady fly-by-night outfit or anything like that. And they know very well about the fair use guidelines. And our video falls well within those guidelines. And if you're not aware of them, let me just briefly show you here what fair use is. Yeah, fair use allows the copying of copyrighted material as long as it's done in a transformative way. Meaning I'm just not like copying their movie or video and pasting it into my channel. No, I'm just taking a few seconds of an hour long documentary, just showing that like 15 seconds and then giving my own commentary and criticism. In fact, there's very clear guidelines for allowing commentary and criticism in fair use. And I want to show you exactly what I'm in trouble for here. At the risk of getting this video here I'm making right now in trouble with the BBC again, I'm going to show you the exact clip that they're all up in arms about me stealing their copyrighted content. Let me play it for you. Wow, sounds pretty scary. I've had about eight bananas a day because it's the only fruit that I can get which makes me even remotely feel like I'm eating. Can I get potassium poisoning or something from that? Yes, you really can. Really? <laughs> Um, you can get cardiac arrhythmias, so your heart rate can go in a funny rhythm if you have enough potassium. How many bananas put me at risk? We wouldn't rec normally recommend more than one or two a day. Really? Having more than two bananas a day puts me at risk for cardiac arrhythmia? Is that...? Yeah, that's the little bit there that got me in trouble. About, what, maybe 15 seconds from their hour-long documentary. I pasted that into my nine-minute long video here. And, yeah, it's commentary and criticism. Right after that, I go into a rebuttal about why it's completely silly to say that you shouldn't eat more than two bananas a day day. So the BBC is being completely shady here and in essence they're stealing my money for this video. Yeah, as soon as they file that false copyright claim, automatically YouTube switches the monetization rights away from me, the, the video creator, over to them because for all YouTube knows, yeah, uh, the BBC is telling the truth. I stole their content but it's a false claim. So I filed an appeal right away and the BBC has up to 30 days to respond. If not, the rights go back to me. And I've done this a few times for other companies, and usually they get back in a couple days saying, oh yeah, our bad, we're sorry. The BBC is just gonna ride this one out. They're just gonna steal my money for the 30 days and probably not get back to me. What really sucks is that the current rules that YouTube has, there's no penalty whatsoever for companies like the BBC to make these false copyright claims and steal money from video creators like me for 30 days. In fact, who knows how many other people they're doing this to. In fact, Mr. Repsion's company filed a claim about a year ago, full screen. I didn't fight it successfully and they're still a year to the day now have been stealing the money from the video I made about them. So if there's anything good to be said about this, and there isn't much, but in another week or two, that 30 days will expire and the monetization rights will go back to me. But again, like I said, this sucks that the YouTube system is set up in such a way that there's zero penalties for making these false claims that like what the BBC's doing here, what Cassie was doing with Richard and Freely. So it just it incentivizes this system for big companies to steal from smaller content creators like us. Zero penalty, there's no consequences. They just keep doing this day in and day out. So post your questions and comments down below. Did you know about this situation? And now that you do, what do you think about it? You know, this really needs to be changed. You know, this we have every right to use copyrighted content as long as it falls within the fair use guidelines, in this case providing original commentary and criticism. So let me know what you think about this. If you learned something, hit like and share it with a friend who might just be starting the YouTube channel. Let them know what's up here, what they got to watch out for. And subscribe for more vegan content from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time guys, as I wish the BBC would do, keep it carved baby, keep it carved.
Odd. The only reason I was saying that was because like, Jen doesn't like you, and I wanted to pretend so that I don't like you too, so I'm 